Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, March 21st, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Man, what a great weekend. They kicked off Saturday with the grand opening of the new Museum for Historic Annapolis. It is fantastic, and you do need to go see it. I slid over to Bread and Butter Kitchen for a Sammy, and it also was pretty darn fantastic. And I wrapped it up with a blast at the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Parks Oyster Roast and Sock Burning. It was an amazing weekend, all in all. And now, Annapolis Restaurant Week is in full swing, and more on that in a little bit. But the news went into overdrive this weekend, so we need to get into it, shall we? We got word on Friday after the DNB release that a Glen Burnie woman died in a fire in her home. At 12.40 a.m., the Anne Arundel County Fire Department responded to calls for a house fire in the unit block of Greenwood Avenue in Glen Burnie. The fire took 42 firefighters about 45 minutes to control, and unfortunately, a 68-year-old woman was discovered inside deceased. Her husband had escaped the blaze but was critically injured and taken to the burn center at Hopkins Bayview. One firefighter did suffer minor injuries and was released. There was a working smoke detector in the home, and there is no damage estimate or cause just yet. Now, this is the second fatal fire in the county this year, with the first one being on March 9th. Unfortunately, we need to talk about gun violence in the city of Annapolis. On St. Patrick's Day, a 17-year-old male was shot in the 1900 block of Copeland Street, and this is sort of behind the Safeway off of Forest Drive. He was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. On March 18th, at about 8.30 p.m., an adult male was shot near the intersection of President and Frederick Douglass Streets. Fourteen shots were fired, and neighbors reported hearing motorcycles speeding away from the scene. The Annapolis Police Department has not released any more details on this shooting, but the injuries were severe enough to have a medevac helicopter fly the victim to shock trauma. This location is in Eastport and right in the border between the Hacka-owned Harbor House and Eastport Terrace communities. And also a little bit later on March 18th at about 11.30 p.m., police responded to the Tyler Avenue and Forest Drive intersection for a double shooting. Again, details are not available from the Annapolis police as they have not publicly released any. We do know that a male and a female were shot near that intersection, which is at the entrance to Hacka's own Robinwood community, and they were in a ride share on the way to the hospital. Now, it's unclear if they were shot when they got into a ride share or if they were shot before they got into a ride share. Anyhow, the ride share did take them to the local hospital. Police did find evidence at the scene, and they also responded to the hospital. For those keeping count so far in 2022, one murder, nine injuries from shootings, and seven incidents of shots being fired in the city of Annapolis. More disturbing, in a period of 27 hours, four people were shot in Annapolis. Hey, congratulations to Sella Sutton from MacArthur Middle School. She won the postponed by a week 34th annual Anne Arundel County Spelling Bee, beating out 24 others to correctly spell Annihilate, which incidentally I misspelled when I posted the story up on ionanapolis.net. She nailed it in the 11th round. Jackson Alexi of Crofton Middle came in second, and Cassandra White of Severn River Middle was third. And Sella now earns a spot to represent Anne Arundel County in the Scripps National Spelling Bee in May. So congrats to all. I mentioned the sock burning. Well, it is a harbinger of spring, as are the return of the ospreys. And Audrey, one of the area's most well-known ones, is back in her roost on Kent Island, just waiting for her old man Tom to get here. The Chesapeake Conservancy has maintained a live osprey camp for a few years now, and this year they upgraded their game and added a great blue heron cam to check in on Rel and Eddie, and also a peregrine falcon cam to check in on Barb and Bo. They are a great stress reliever and i highly recommend checking them out daily if not more you want to go to chesapeakeconservancy.org slash webcams and all three of them are right there and welcome back audrey 
Just a reminder, the Maryland Chicken Wing Festival is back in town on April 2nd, and it is at the fairgrounds, and it gets better each year. We have a story up on all the activities and so forth, but the important part is that to avoid running out of wings, because it has happened, and to make it as pleasant as possible for everyone, they are limiting tickets. So if you would like wings, you want to go to abceventsinc.com, and that's I-N-C, and get some. And you want to use the code, the number five, the word i and the number 22, 5I22, 5 as in dollars, I as in on Annapolis, and 22 as in the year, and you're going to save $5 on every single ticket that you purchase. And whoever said there was no free lunch did not listen to this podcast. I do have a $50 gift card courtesy of the Downtown Annapolis Partnership and Annapolis Restaurant Week for one lucky winner today, and I will have more every single day. To get in the running, all you need to do is email me before 6 p.m. tonight and tell me a joke. The one that I find most amusing will get that gift card to Cafe Mezzanote, which is a new addition to the Restaurant Week this year. I'm also starting to really get jazzed about the Annapolis Film Festival coming into town on the 31st for four days. The full slate has been released, and you can check it out at annapolisfilmfestival.org. And if you intend to see more than two or three films over the days, I suggest a pass rather than individual tickets. Now, we released a podcast with Lee and Patty, the founders, a little bit ago, and you want to make sure you check that out. But you also want to stay tuned because we are chatting with directors and producers all this week for some little bonus podcasts that are going to come on out. And on the topic of podcasts, I hope you caught Wild Kid Acres and Gerardo Martinez on Saturday. And I can't wait to get back out there to see his farm again. Changing Patterns is up next. And here's a little bit of a teaser for you. And you're going to want to listen up on this one. Bands in the Sand, that amazing beach bash every June. Well, we're going to be talking to the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and Annapolis Subaru, who is the lead sponsor this year. We're going to talk to them today. And we're going to be the first place you're going to hear about who the headliner is and when the tickets will go on sale. This does sell out every single year that they have it. And no, I don't know yet. And no, I don't think I can be bribed when I find out a little bit later on today. I mean, you can try, but I don't think I will be able to be. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company, Rehab to Perform, and Alpha Engineering. All righty, it is Monday, and and okay, now you can peek at your 401k statement, but don't set your expectations too high. Alcina from Covington, Alcina is here with your Monday Money Report. And as always, George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather. All of that coming up in just a bit. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today at 410-599-1370 so we can help you maximize your home's value. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, March 21st. Not a bad weekend for the Annapolis region, but it will be a pretty nice springtime week ahead with some warm temps and some rain in the forecast. Look for very nice conditions today with plenty of sunshine, with breezy highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s in spots, with more sun and warmth tomorrow with highs again mid-60s to near 70, before then some rain moves in Wednesday with temps near 60, with more rain possibly lasting into Thursday as temperatures jump back up 
into the 65 to 70 degree range ahead of sunshine Friday through Sunday with highs low to mid 60s Friday, near 60 on Saturday, and then low to mid 50s on Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC, MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, as well as through our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely download our DC MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google app stores so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. A lot of people ask me, what will it cost me to go solar? But the bigger question you should be asking is, what will it cost me not to go solar? That's right. The status quo is costing you money. The average size system we're installing today delivers a net savings of over $41,000 over the 25-year warranted lifespan of the solar panels. That's $41,000 you might be leaving on the table by not going solar. Of course, solar is not right for every home. But the vast majority of homes can offset 50 to 100% of their current electricity usage with solar. Now that's substantial. Want to find out if you could be leaving 41000 or more on the table? Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshines are wasted. Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit RehabToPerform.com. You work hard for your money. Is your money working hard for you? Managing and investing, it can be confusing. Ann Alsina, a financial planner from Covington Alsina, has been helping people make sense of it all for over 17 years. Are you ready? Now here's your Monday Money Report. This is Ann Alsina of Covington Alsina with your Monday Money Report. Oh my, I'm hoping everyone listening stayed invested over the last few months. The market had its biggest week in a year, or longer for some indices. The S&P 500 was up over 6% last week, is positive for the month and for the last six months. We're still down year to date, but ahead of where we were in September of last year. The market fundamentals, with the exception of inflation and geopolitical risk, are all positive. Jobless claims are down. This week, the Federal Reserve Bank raised the federal funds interest rate by 0.25%. And that means what? Exactly. The federal funds rate is the interest rate that banks, or the Federal Reserve, charge each other to lend funds overnight. Each bank is required to keep a certain amount in reserve, or on hand. If a bank has excess, they will lend it out overnight to earn interest. If they don't have enough, they borrow from another bank. This interest rate impacts the prime rate, which is the rate individual banks use as a starting point to lend money. Subprime borrowers pay higher interest rates while those with high credit and collateral may receive loans for less than the prime rate. This impacts you in a variety of ways. If you're going to borrow money for a mortgage or car loan or for a business, your rates will most likely be increasing as a result of the Fed's increase in the Fed funds rate. If you have credit card debt or an adjustable rate loan, like a home equity line of credit, those rates will be going up. If you're a saver, don't expect your deposits to earn more interest overnight. There is usually more of a lag between rising rates and an increase in what savings accounts earn. The Fed has raised rates as a way to tighten monetary policy or reduce the amount of money available for the economy. When it costs more to borrow, people and businesses borrow less. Inflation is too much money chasing too few goods, and the Fed is trying to reduce inflation by attacking the money side of the inflation equation. The biggest concern on the horizon is that if the Fed raises rates too quickly or if Congress doesn't work with the Fed, we could have a recession. A recession is two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. The Federal Reserve Bank needs a partner with the federal government because increased federal spending only makes the too much money side of the equation worse. Your action item to take this week is to look at your liabilities. Examine every debt you have, mortgage, car loan, credit cards. If you have higher rates, do you want to refinance while rates are low? If it's a variable rate, do you want to lock in a fixed rate? And if you carry any credit card debt, look at ways to reduce or restructure that. You can always find more information on our Facebook page or on our website at CovingtonAlcina.com. 
Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, SIPC, investment advice offered through Great Valley Advisor Group, a registered investment advisor. Covington, Alcina, and Great Valley Advisor Group are separate entities from LPL Financial. All performance references historical and is no guarantee of future results. All indices are unmanaged and may not be invested into directly. The opinions voiced in this show are for general information only are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual. To determine which strategies or investments may be appropriate for you, contact the appropriate qualified professional prior to making a decision. And if you don't have a financial advisor, come talk to us. This is Ann Alcina with Covington Alcina. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.